Hello everyone, welcome to AWS Tutorials. In AWS Tutorials, we provide workshops and exercises to learn about AWS services. But today I'm going to talk something different. Uh, I am working for a couple of customers and one of the, for one of the customers, we are building data lake. And recently we have been uh, arguing about whether we should keep our data in CSV format or Parquet format. And we are, we are doing the research and, and everything. And uh, we came across a couple of key differentiator and points. And when I learned about those things, I said, why not do a little experiment uh, and, um, and see? Uh, because once you silly, see, you, you believe it, right? Uh, and that, that, that experiment I'm sharing with you, uh, if you are struggling with the same kind of um, question, then you can do this experiment yourself and uh, make more, uh, yeah, I will say a knowledgeable decision about which format to use. So the two key differentiations which we came across, uh, one was that Paraquest has a, takes a, a smaller storage compared to CSV. Uh, so we are not sure how much smaller it will be, but definitely uh, we'll, we, we learned that yeah, Paraquest used a compressed format and, and column-based storage and, and, and it's, it is much smaller than CSV. Uh, the second, um, uh, second argument which you saw was that uh, since Paraquet does uh, column-based storage, the amount of data you scan for the query is less. And since you're, uh, you know, yeah, so that, that's, a, that's a very interesting thing because uh, in CSV, we know that the data is stored in, in kind of a table format, uh, yeah, row column format, uh, but Paraquet has a different altogether column-based storage. Uh, and um, and uh, people say that if you go for that kind of storage, then if you're trying to run some kind of aggregation functions and so on and so forth, uh, it only involves those columns which you are using in your query and your total amount of data scanned is less. So we said, okay, sounds, sounds good to me. And to be honest, these two have uh, quite an implication uh, in AWS uh, from the cost and performance point of view. So uh, taking at the first point, if Paraquet takes uh, less storage than CSV, then definitely um, uh, it is going to cost us less in AWS because uh, if I'm say storing data inside S3, then I'm paying for less storage cost. Uh, for the second point, uh, uh, this claim that uh, uh, Paraquet gives a better query performance because it is a column-based storage. Um, uh, and yeah, that, that's a good news. And the second thing is that since in Paraquet, the amount of data you scanned is less, it again gives a better cost uh, in AWS. Uh, because uh, if you're using uh, services like S3 and Athena, uh, for the query uh, or, or Athena driver with your reporting tools for the query, then uh, Athena or S3 are charged based on uh, uh, the amount of data you are scanning, okay? And, uh, and, and, and if, if the amount of data is scanned uh, is less, then you are paying less. Uh, so definitely uh, it seems that Parquet is going to give me a better cost performance if the amount of data I scanned is less. But how much, again, I don't know. So the biggest question was that, uh, let's, let's visualize these things. Can we see these things happening? And then make decision based on that. So seeing is believing. So we said, okay, let's do a small experiment in AWS. And based on that experience, we'll try to make a more knowledgeable data point based decision. And I'm going to share you, share you that experiment uh, and if you want to do similar experiment for your own decision, to be honest, it's not complicated. It can be done in no time, okay? So let me go back, go to my experiment. So first thing I did is that I went to a website called Kaggle.com. And if you're using Kaggle.com, actually, um, you can get, get, get a, a, a variety of uh, sample data over here. And here in the Kaggle.com, actually, I, the data I used was for uh, a FIFA 20 complete player data set which is roughly 48 MB of the data. 
which is spread across uh, these uh, six CSV files. So I said, okay, let's take this as a sample data to, to work with. And if you try to aggregate uh, the different rows across this uh, data, they are roughly uh, 100,000 uh, yeah, 100, rows, okay? So what I did, uh, the first step is that I created um, S3 bucket. So uh, if I go to for instance, yeah, uh, yeah, if I, uh, if I go to my S3 bucket, and uh, let me quickly, yeah, if I go to my S3 bucket, and look and look at my CSV players. So you can see that these six files I uploaded over here uh, from Kaggle, uh, they are in CSV format. And look at the size of the table, huh? 7.2 MB to 8.5 uh, MB. So this is important, yeah? Have a note of this, mental note of this, because we'll come back to this comparison. So what I did after this, once uh, this data was stored, uh, we went to uh, lake formation, and in lake formation, we created a database first, then we simply cataloged this CSV table. So you know, the CSV data you see here over here, yeah, that has been cataloged here in the table. And if I go and see uh, this um, table, uh, you, can, you can see, uh, yeah, it is in CSV format, uh, stored in this folder here, and then this is the schema of the data. Fair enough, 20 columns. Uh, then so I had my CSV data ready. Now um, uh, I need to convert uh, this CSV data into Parkway. Uh, and in order to do so, what I did is that I created a glue job. So I went to, uh, to the glue and created a job. Uh, I simply used out of box uh, job, which converts a CSV into Parkway. So if you look at this one, um, it's a pretty configurable job, uh, which generates a script for me. And if you look at the script over here, uh, I'm reading uh, from CSV player, yeah, from Dojo database. And then I'm simply transforming and writing it back to S3 at the location, same bucket for different folders called Paraquet players. And if I go a little more on the right, it is converting my data into Paraquet format. So basically I'm trying to convert the same data from uh, CSV to Parquet format and store under this folder in my uh, Dozo data bucket. So when I run this format, when I run this job, it, it simply did the ATL thing and it converted my CSV into Parquet and stored the data at a destination. So if I go back to my table, uh, so if I go to my Dozo data again, and if I try to see the Parquet players folder, you can see those six files has been converted into Paraquet format. Now, first observation, which is again, very important. Look at the data size now. It is 2.3 to 2.7 MB compared to 7.5 to 8.5. That means your data storage uh, in Paraquet has, has lowered by three times. Yeah, and this is very important because then that means you are paying three times less storage cost if you are storing your data in Paraquet format. Okay, so that was the the finding number one. If I if I go back to my presentation, yeah, remember here this presentation first one that it has implication on the cost. And if I try to use this experiment, then basically what we are uh, with what we are saying here is that if I'm using my data in Paraquet format, then actually I am paying three times less than CSV format for the storage. So that's the one thing. So keep this in mind. So first thing was validated and we got an idea, okay, roughly three times it can do. Uh, well, not necessarily in all cases, I'm assuming data, data, it depends. But yeah, uh, it looks like it can do quite, quite in comparison, yeah. So we said, okay, fine. Uh, having done this thing, let's see the query part, because the second uh, argument is that uh, with Paraquay being the column level storage, your data is scanned is less. Uh, and but that's quite uh, quite an uh, implication in terms of better performance and low cost. So can we check, check that? So we said, Let, let's do that. So what we did, we went to the Athena. And in Athena, uh, we have a database and these two tables you can see. And we created two similar queries. Uh, and in both, what these queries do, is that simply they aggregate, uh, they, they take average of the age 
per nationality of the players. And we first try to run this query uh, for, in, in, uh, for the CSV players table, then try to run the same query for Paraguay players and, and try to compare it. So let's do this. So let's run this query first for the CSV. When I run this query, I, uh, yeah, I come across, uh, yeah, this is the result. And you can see that uh, the query took 2.6 seconds and the data I scanned was 48.2 MB. So if I look at this, it has scanned the entire data set. Yeah, because remember the original data size is 48 MB and it has scanned the entire data size to give me this result, okay? So fair enough, that's how CSB works. Then we said, let's run the same query in Parquet. So if I run the same query in Parquet, okay, let's run it then what we find is that the query time is 2.77 so it looks like a little more than what we saw in csv but the data I scanned is 170 kb compared to 48 mb and this you can actually see in comparisons if i go to history over here you can see the comparison of the queries here i have done it a couple of times just to test it uh, and you can see here again that when I'm running this query against CSV, uh, then it completes in 2.6 seconds, but uh, your data scan is 48.21 MB. Uh, but if I try to run in Parquet, it gives me a little slower performance, uh, but my data scan is only 170 KB. And to be honest, this query I have run a couple of times and I find that sometimes, yeah, one is less, one is more, sometimes it's almost the same. So my finding was, uh, finding number one, I could not really establish if Paraquay can give me a better query performance over CSV. Probably it can, but not in my experiments. It, 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 most of the time they were like, yeah, sometimes one is faster, sometimes other is faster, sometimes both are almost the same. Yeah. So I could not really establish if Parquet can give me a better query performance over CSV or, or, or other way around. But I can I could really establish that the amount of data scanned in Parquet is way less than the amount of data you scan in, uh, in, um, in CSV. And that definitely has a positive impact on cost performance, lowering the cost. Because as I mentioned you earlier that if you're using query like a tool like Athena, or if you're using uh, reporting tools which use Athena as a driver to query the data, uh, or, or, or uh, yeah, glue catalog to query data, then the, the charges are based on the amount of data you are scanning. And uh, you can see here the amount of data scan in Parquet is way less than the amount of data scan you in, in, in CSV. So definitely Parquet is going to give you much better cost performance for the query uh, than CSV. However, uh, the runtime is almost same or mixed between these two. So that was the little experiment which should give us a, a good idea in terms of, you know, uh, uh, if you go from uh, CSV to Parquet kind of format, uh, then what kind of uh, effectiveness, cost optimization uh, we are we are looking into. That that's really, uh, you know, help us make up our mind for our customer. If you are struggling with similar kind of struggle at your end, you can do similar experiment. Uh, if you want me to create a create a say tutorial for this, uh, I can do that as well. But yeah, uh, uh, let me know. Um, so if you if you like the video, then yeah, please click on the like button uh, and please subscribe to our channels. Uh, our channel, if uh, you want to learn more about uh, such videos in the in the coming days. Uh, we try to upload at least two to three videos uh, per week. And you can always go to our uh, website called aws-dozo.com where you can see uh, loads of uh, workshops and exercises uh, to implement certain scenario. And by doing so, you learn about AWS services. So that was all for today. Hope you like it. Uh, please do click on the like button if you like the video. Uh, and uh, I look forward to your feedback and suggestions. Uh, if you have any feedback and suggestions, you can provide us on our YouTube channel. 
uh, or you can also click on this contact us button on, on our website and can provide us uh, and can provide us uh, feedback over there yeah um, that's all for now uh, thank you very much for your time uh, have a nice day bye bye